Our guest is Jim Kuno, who is president and CEO of the J. Paul Getty Trust. Jim is a graduate of Willamette University in Oregon with a major in history, and he's also past president and CEO of the Art Institute of Chicago. Jim, your career has required you to be a skilled business executive as, very, as well as very knowledgeable in the art world. How did your liberal arts education prepare you for these very different demands? I think the first thing that it did was uh, provoke a curiosity uh, in, in me for the, for the world, for things that I could learn and should learn about what was new and different in the world. And uh, that curiosity has led me from one exciting position to the next exciting position, uh, allowing me to learn uh, along the way. I think the other thing that it did was that it allowed me to exercise a sense of keen judgment of people, of situations. Uh, and the third is probably that it allowed me to uh, articulate uh, a vision, that is to put into words uh, an idea. Because my job uh, as, a, as an executive is to persuade people to follow me, to articulate a vision and to, and to bring people along with me in pursuit of that vision. So if I thought of three things, then it would be one, uh, a sense of judgment about the world, a kind of an ethical basis for that judgment in the world. A second is a, uh, a willingness to, to learn and to, to be curious about the world and to learn from others. And the third is to be able to articulate a vision and to persuade people to follow that, uh, that vision. And what advice would you offer to a student who is interested in a career in the business side of art? Yeah, I think, uh, I think that one can be comfortable that the qualities that one um, uh, gathers as a, as a student in the liberal arts, uh, that is a, being able to read critically, being able to write clearly, being able to speak with uh, passion uh, about, uh, about one's beliefs and one's subject, uh, being able to work well with people, being able to follow uh, uh, the example of others, all these human qualities uh, that uh, one can carry for the rest of one's life. Uh, pursuing a career is something that one does, I think, for the most part, if one can, uh, after college. College is preparation. College is preparation for life, not for career. Career follows after that. Uh, now, that's probably not something that everyone feels comfortable in, in uh, believing when they first enter college because they come from different circumstances in life. They might be first-time uh, college students, uh, that is, first in their families to go to college. There might be different kinds of pressures for them, and I understand that. But for those who can, it is something that does prepare one for life, not for work. Thanks so much for joining us, Jim.